Hey guys, it's Bukhari, and <laughs> y'all already know what it is, like, so, I guess when you're a celebrity, your business just gets put out there, but if you're like Beyonce and Jay-Z, then you gotta keep that on the left, <laughs> keep y'all business out there, but I guess this couple aired their dirty laundry out, and you know what? Since it's been put out there, it's great because, you know, maybe they can serve as an example for others, but Will Smith, I guess he had affairs too outside of Jada. I didn't know that they, I mean, I guess that can happen in a marriage, especially one like this. So let's just see what he's talking about. I mean, cause he ain't saying much on the red table talk. That was all Jada. So let's see what Will got to say. Okay. It is not your responsibility to make your wife happy. Amen. Right? Just like it's not my wife's responsibility to make me happy. Facts. It's my responsibility to make me happy, and it's her responsibility to make her happy, and then we're going to come together and build on that happiness. Yes. Will Smith is continuing yes. to get candid about his marriage with that. to Jada Pinkett Smith. The 53-year-old actor is featured in a new cover story for GQ and discusses the revelations old. in his upcoming memoir titled Will. The Philadelphia native reveals that Jada was not the only one engaging in other relationships outside of their marriage. He explains, quote, We have given each other trust and freedom with the belief that everybody has to find their own way and marriage for us can't be a prison and I don't suggest our road for anybody. I don't suggest this road for anybody, but the experiences and the freedoms that we've given one another and the unconditional support to me is the highest definition of love. Anything that I need to make myself happy, I will present that to my wife that I need that to be happy. Divorce is not an option. We're going to be together. So we're going to figure out how to be happy. The Independence Day star also touches on his fantasies involving other women and candidly discusses working with an intimacy coach. Will's greatest desire in the world? To have a harem of girlfriends. Specifically, Damn. Will names Misty Copeland and Halle Berry and says his intimacy coach even worked on the list with him. Will tells the mag, quote, I don't know where I saw it or some as a teenager, but the idea of traveling with 20 women that I loved and took care of and all of that, it seemed like a really great idea. And then after we played it out a little bit, I was like, that would be horrific. <laughs> I'm glad. That would be horrific. I'm glad. I was like, can you imagine how miserable? The Oscar nominee says that the intimacy coach was cleaning out my mind, letting it know it was okay to be me and be who I was. At the end of the day, it's just not quitting you know in the gq article it's noted that will does not go into much detail about his 23 year marriage to jada in his memoir will and i shared some very private truths about our relationship the hit star says that a lot of details regarding their relationship have already been made public including jada's entanglement with singer august alcina which she opened up about on her facebook watch show red table talk in july 2020. i got into a different kind of entanglement <laughs> with August. One thing I want to get clear about and clean up, one of the things that was kind of swirling in the press about you giving permission, which is, uh, you know, the only person that could give permission in, in, in that particular uh, uh, yeah. circumstance is myself. Yes, a relationship. Yes, it was a yeah. relationship, absolutely. I was in a lot of pain and I was very broken. Now, in the process, of that relationship. I, I remember this. This one's all history. Who else remembers this? Can't find happiness outside <laughs> Will explains to the mag in part, quote, Jada never believed in conventional marriage. And for the large part mm. of our relationship, monogamy was what we chose, not thinking of monogamy as the only relational perfection. I actually sat down with Will and had a conversation. He gave me his blessing. I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life and I truly and really really deeply loved and have a ton of love for her. As for why Will and Jada publicly reacted to August's comments about his relationship with Jada to protect themselves. 
Quote, we sort of came to the agreement that authenticity was the release from the shackles of fame and public scrutiny. Mm. And though Will says he and Jada are in a much better place now, he opens up in his book about some of the toughest moments in their marriage. According to an excerpt from Will's memoir obtained by GQ, the actor writes that they reached a breaking point in 2011 on Jada's 40th birthday, something mm. they also opened up about on Red Table Talk. Your 40th birthday was my low point. The day after her 37th birthday, I hired a team to orchestrate her 40th birthday. I hired a documentary team. I traced mommy's family roots. Her 40th birthday was going to be my thing. And she's told me that the party was the most ridiculous display of my ego. Despite wow. the girls, the Suicide Squad star has opened up about why... Damn, that's fucked up. How do you, like, you plan this whole party for your bae, and then that's the response you get is, ugh. This is a ridiculous display. Oh, I wonder how this party was. I don't know, but... I'd have been heartbroken. My heart, heart would have been broke many times, including 2015, when he told E.T. this. You can't expect it to be easy. It's like I'm, our marriage was the most difficult, grueling, and excruciating thing that we've ever been, taken on in our lives. And, you know, we're just not quitters. And by the same token, we're not apathetic. Yeah. So we're not going to sit there and let it, you know, be painful we're going to keep working and if there is a is a secret i would say is that we 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 never went into uh working on our relationship we only ever worked on ourselves individually and then presented ourselves to one another better than we were previously and that's deep like because <clears throat> that is so true like i definitely agree with that like for y'all, like, <clears throat> for two people to be in a relationship, um, it's like, uh, you can't rely on the other person to make you happy. You can't rely on the other person to, like, pretty much make you, like, y'all have to work on each other separately because we are two different individuals. And... You empower each other by being better for each other. Like, I love that them for this. Like, I wasn't expecting that. He's very wise and he knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's doing. And I probably will get the memoir. Well, guys, if you like this video, give it a like. Drop a comment. I will see y'all soon.